Hello and welcome by the Arcad Saga. My name is Ilkian Wiersma and today I would like to give an update on my slipper orchids. I have six of them. Actually, I have, I have five Paphiopedalums and one Prachmopidium. And the last one I have always a bit difficult to pronounce that name. So I uh, try to stick with the slipper orchids if you don't mind. It's a little bit easier for me. But uh, yeah, recently I did this, uh, get this quite a nice comment from Julia's orchids. She uh, told me that she had bought some different size pommes and she really wants to know uh, how I grow my slippers and which size pommes I use, if I use Cintiq and some, some thoughts on the subject. So that inspired me to make this video because I think it's, it's been a while where we did a uh, update on the slipper arcade. So uh, let's uh, combine the two and have a look. And I thought it would be nice to put them on my up putting table, which is next to the camera. So I can uh, have my hands free and can lift them out of the pot and we can really have a look inside of the pot. Uh, to just to check and to check the roots. And to be honest, I'm not completely sure if I grow them exactly all in the same. Well, let's find out. Let's put them on the table and have a look. <laughs> Okay, so this uh, is my Paphiopedalum collection. And like I said, I will have one uh, Pragmapidium, but that will uh, be later on because then you know why it didn't fit anymore. <laughs> so we start with these guys. And this is my first one. This is the uh, um, American Hybrid, I, I think it's called. Yeah, American Hybrid. Here is the tag. And so this is the first one and I had it uh, from 2018 and I think I even have it had it before but I don't uh, remember correctly because I yeah, don't have it on the tag well actually it's an old tag no it doesn't matter that much but this is the oldest one and whoops there goes the tag I will put it in later again but it now starts with several new growths it's now really uh, starting to to grow and uh, in my care with several new growths i hope you uh, can see them there in the back with an old flower spike uh, on there but yeah it's leaning to one side of the pot but now it's uh, starting to grow more to the to the middle of the pot and i thought it would be easier but uh, <laughs> well with two hands but anyhow let's have a look as you can see we have roots and we have small pommes with Cintiq. So let me turn this around very quickly so we can have a look at the other side of the pot. Let me see. Um, I need to see. Yeah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Why, well, that's quite some uh, growing tips, actually. So this has been in this pot from uh, 2000, what did I say? 18. That is four years. And it's still doing fine, so I just uh, keep it there. Maybe, maybe I did repot it once in between, but not much, I know for sure. And yeah, I have the ferns, don't mind the ferns. So it's, it be, it's been in this pot for several years. And as usual, I always try to remind you that as long as you keep a nice pH in the pot with a reasonable uh, parts per million level, I do not go over 200. So stay under the 200. With a nice pH level, I like to have it at between, yeah, around 7, 7 and 7.5, something like that. And then I water with 6.3, a pH of 6.3. Uh, with most of the time 50 up to 80 parts per million and that's it. Just a little bit of feed, not much. And yeah, it seems to do fine. It's not a very quick grower. I don't think there are uh, any slip arcs that grow fairly quick, maybe a bit quicker. I don't know, then, then uh, in comparison to the others. Some old leaves I should uh, take off. But anyhow, this is the first one. American Hybrid, a very beautiful one to, to have, I think. And it's not that difficult to grow. Well, let's, I wanted to show the new growths. This is one new growth and this is a new growth. And they started from, I think from this one that bloomed last, uh, last season. And we have new growth there and another one there. So also two, but it makes already four new growths. So yeah, this one is uh, now making multiple new growths. This is the first time it uh, does this. So who knows, we have a nice uh, show. Then the second one, that's from 2019. 
Uh, yeah, actually, it's also for 2018. I can barely read my own handwriting, but it, it's, an, it's an eight, so it's 18, and then I did report it in 2019, so that's uh, three years ago. So yeah, maybe the American Hybrid is for four years in that pot, because this one is uh, the second one that I had. I, I started with the American Hybrid. Anyhow, um, so yeah, let's take it out of the pot. Let's first have a look in the pot. Yeah, because they are so close together, in my uh, collection, I thought I probably have the same setup for these guys. And I see quite some roots here, which makes me happy. I don't check them that often, to be honest. But uh, as you can see, small Cintiq, uh, yeah, small Cintiq, Cintiq with small Pommers, I should say. And again, roots, quite some roots here. I hope you can see them there in the back. But what happened with this one, I had it in a different setup that actually was in uh, when I did grew them in the home, in the house. Um, let me adjust the water meter quickly because I... Oh, that's why. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just... There we are. But this one started to climb a bit. Um, I hope you can see it here. And it was in inside of the pot. And then it started to, to go up a little bit like this. So what I did, and that's fairly recently, I did put a, a layer of Cintiq around those roots. So those roots there can find their way into the pot as well. I have a quite nice example here, I think. Just above my finger, you see a root and it's starting to touch the Cintiq. These do not like to be aerial. So I thought, well, I'm going to, uh, to risk maybe some rot, but so far they do so well. They really start to take off in the, in the Cintiq. So I have a upper layer, a top layer of Cintiq, just because this one is a climber. And otherwise I need to repot it again. And uh, yeah, I wanted to avoid it because it's doing so well. And it has obviously a new growth here, just a small one. And a mature new growth here, this one also on this side and on this side a new growth so i'm not sure why these two do not bloom but i had it in bloom before this is an old spike and whoops here we have an old spike flower spike i had two blooms last year and i probably have it in one of my blooming updates so it should be fine again maybe it will start to bloom later on uh, the year i don't know so those, those two are Cintiq, a little bit of Cintiq, not too much, but, uh, and quite some small pommers. And I put a Cintiq in there just to be sure that the uh, water will uh, be quite evenly uh, distributed uh, through the pot. That's basically what I try to do there with the Cintiq. So that's why I use a little bit of Cintiq in there. Maybe they could even do without, but I think the roots really like the Cintiq, that wet. Uh, wet uh, environment. Then we have this one. This is one is a, uh, is a fairly new one. It's from 2022, February. I did receive this uh, one from uh, Annabelle from Miracle Orchids, and she did get this one from uh, Miss Orchid Girl. So this is this been uh, been traveling this one, <laughs> but it's now in my care, and I think uh, it's doing fairly well. But as you probably already saw. I see at least big pommes on top here. And I see a new growth starting there, an older growth here, which is not still not matured, I think. And we have an old flower spike. So it should be uh, flowering, I think, maybe uh, the coming uh, upcoming months. But let's have a look. Yeah, this is obviously the big pommes. And they don't root very quickly are yeah they are not growing very quickly but we already have at least one root here i hope you can see it yeah i think you can there's a root so obviously it can grow in big pommes as well and i'm trying to check for you if i did put syntic in there and i th think i didn't let me no i see not a little a single piece of syntic in there so yeah I just said uh, I used Cintiq to uh, get the moisture evenly throughout the pot, distributed evenly through the pot, but apparently you don't have to. 
maybe um, one slipper will react better to it than the other one. I have no idea, but I just, uh, I think I was testing it out. So I basically had the same question as you did. And I thought, well, I'm going to put it in, uh, put it in fairly large pumice. As you can see, it's fairly large and just see what happens. But it, it does do very well. Beautiful color on the leaves, as you can see. So it looks to me, yeah, this is an old leaf. It's still attached. I don't like to pull them off. They will fall off eventually. But the rest is uh, quite looking quite good. These are older uh, leaves, the paler ones. So these are starting to go away. And that happens with, uh, with uh, the slipper orchids. So, but the new growth, that's very important. The look of the leaves there. And those are fine. So let's take this one. This is the Pinocchio Alba. Uh, let's do it like this. And it still is blooming. Since the day I bought it from Landsbergen, it was around, I think, the same. And I'm, I should have looked in my notes because I did forget to give this a tag. <laughs> so I need to make a tag, but I have it in my, my notes. But this was, uh, yeah, it's certainly from the earlier this year in my uh, my collection and it has a new growth and still blooming so it did take very very easily to this setup and let's pull it up because you then can hopefully see well i'm sorry i need to adjust my hands a little bit because look at these beautiful new root tips so let's say it was uh, from february as well in my collection this one is is taking so well and obviously this one is just growing uh, roots quicker than the one before that happens so that doesn't mean that the one before the doesn't do so well this one is just quicker in growing the roots and this one had more roots to start with and there's not a single root that died off as far as i can see so it did came out of the bark put it in here and it just did take off like never ever happened now <laughs> anything happened and you can see we have a new growth and like i said it still is blooming on the same flower spike I didn't expect it to be honest. What I did expect was that it would abort this flower spike because of the repot, but it didn't. So this one is just took off like never anything had happened to it. <laughs> but once again, same setup, big pumice and some top layer of the darker pebbles, which I always use. And then the last one, this one is just recently potted up. I think a few days back. Let me check. Yeah, in October, <laughs> just a few days back, I did uh, put this one up. Also from Landsbergen, but from my last hole. And this one is flowering, as we can see. It is making a new growth there, new growth here and there. But yeah, I can lift it out of the pot just to have a look. And I think this one has a mixture of pumice sizes. It's as far as I can see from uh, on the top of the pot. Yeah. This is what I do as well sometimes. So I used a uh, layer of the bigger pumice underneath there that will be in, in, inside of the reservoir. And I have the roots that are were already on this arcade on top of that layer. And then I use smaller pumice, bigger pumice, because these are most of the times are terrestrial orchids, so they, they do, do, not, burp, <laughs> do not need the uh, air around the roots. But yeah, I can, can look, the, look up the roots, but it, 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 it's, it's in here about for about a week, so nothing, uh, nothing to tell about the root system yet. But still, the flower is looking very well, and also the leaves. So, so far, it looks like it does take this setup uh, uh, fairly easy as well. I, I don't see any sound, uh, si signs of uh, suffering or anything. So, I think it's doing okay. But yeah, beautiful, right? The bloom. Very, very beautiful. Okay, let's uh, grab the one and only Pragmapidium that I have. So yeah, this is quite a plant, isn't it? <laughs> it did came in such a good condition, I must admit, from Landsbergen as well. But yeah, this one took off again. It just started growing and it appear, uh, apparently just really like the setup. Here and there, I have some dark root tip, uh, uh, leaf tips, I'm sorry, like on this one. But it happened sometime, maybe from transport back in the days. But these uh, lighter color, 
uh, leaves are the new ones and so far they do look uh, pretty fine as you can see no uh, no tips dark tips on there uh, and this one is a drinker absolute drinker but here we can see some new roots coming from this new growth so yeah and this one has a heck of a lot of roots i uh, will grab it very carefully but i can lift it uh, like this i know for sure but i need to be careful of course there we go yeah, you already see it this one is just took off in this part in the setup but i can see small pumice so this one is filled this part is filled with small pumice and a little bit of um syntic again i hope you can see it there in uh, above there the darker spots uh, next to my thumb uh, that's a little bit of syntic not that much but a little bit and you can see it's already found its way out of the pot well at least the roots but uh, yeah let's turn it around but it all looks the same i know that for a fact because this one i just recently uh, had a look at it not that long ago but you can see it's just pot bound already it's crazy and this one always has the reservoir completely empty within uh, within a week but i don't give it any more water i just water it once a week so it's it but it, it will uh, stay damp i'm not say uh, letting it dry up but it doesn't like to dry up at all but i can manage to uh, to only water this once a week sometimes i just give it a little bit too much water but it doesn't mind because it drinks it all and it's just a very big plant i have several new growths i i maybe eight nine ten i don't I, I have no idea i didn't count them but you can see all those lighter leaves there and here in front we already have three new growths so yeah but the blooms i'm not sure where the blooms are <laughs> not on their way yet so i tried to bloom this but it didn't succeed yet maybe it's a little bit too soon because it, it definitely has the size it came in flower it, it came in bloom with bloom so it's definitely has the size i think it has the root system for it and i think it's happy enough but uh, i did change it a little bit and therefore i'm going to grab my camera so i can show it and we're going to talk a little bit about light levels so yeah light levels you didn't ask for it but probably because uh, we have uh, quite some viewers these days thank you so much for watching my videos i thought there's probably uh, at least one person who would like to know a little bit more about uh, uh, the feet and we just discussed the feet i keep it very low summer winter even in winter if, it, if it's fairly dull i give them only 30 or 40 parts per million and keep in mind they those have a reservoir so there's always a little bit of feed around as as, uh, as soon as i start to water of course um, but you can see it's an led bulb there a uh, lamp we call it bulbs but um a lamp uh cool white so this is for me the the closest to the daylight and i have them yeah quite quite far away from the uh, the window but they will receive because in summer especially when the sun is shining there's more light coming in through this side and they will receive some daylight but fairly uh, filtered i should say so that's and but they uh, seem to like it because they keep on flowering keep on growing and they uh, they probably have enough light from the led there but um yeah, I thought to, it, it's nice to mention and you can see the leaves there we saw them they are nice and green so everything should uh, should uh, yeah it looks to me that I like it's doing fine and I grow them now for about a year here I didn't always have them at this side of my uh, orchid room but they seem to me to do very well we had just had a look in the root uh, at the roots and they are very uh, doing very well so I think thereby i can say that these light levels are okay for them and let me go back underneath that i have the uh, only one and only pragmapedium that i have but i did change that one i have it now on a sort of stand here because of all those leaves it's fairly big as you can see um and i'm not sure but i think these guys do like a little bit more light especially in fall and winter they do not like the sun very very bright light but a little bit more daylight i think i can see that uh, the leaves do really like it but um 
I'm not sure actually. And it depends on which species or habit you have, of course. And they are very shiny. That's because of uh, the uh, pesticide that I use. So, and if I don't forget, I will put a link in for those who want to know, but it's for, uh, for the pests and that makes them uh, shine a little bit more. This one didn't have any uh, uh, I can add, but I just in sometimes in uh, to be safe. Sometimes surround uh, plants surrounding uh, the uh, the main plant are uh, the neighbors. Let's put it like that may have pests. So just to be uh, sure, I might spray them. But my paths, my slipper orchids do not have um, pests that often. Actually, I, I, I try to think of a, of a that was my phone. I'm sorry in the back. I, I don't know if you heard it. But anyhow, um, um, yeah, I, I can't remember. But I. Uh, if I'm uh, if I have some pests around them on other plants, I just spray them just to be sure. So yeah, light levels, feed levels. Um, yeah, and we had a, a good look in, inside of the pot. So I hope this uh, answers some questions. But of course, for all of you guys, not only for Julia August, but for all of you guys, <laughs> just let me know if you have any questions or you may want another update. I really uh, enjoy making these videos because I like to share the information. Uh, out there and to tell you I'm not saying this is how you should grow them uh, don't get me wrong but this is how I do it and this works on my climate and you may take some pieces information out of that uh, out of the story and uh, basically I always uh, refer to it like translating it into your own growing system your own growing environment etc and that's how I came up with uh, with this setup and and yeah it is really uh, works for me so uh, therefore I like, really like uh, like making these videos so once more time thank you so much Julia for asking this question and thank to all of you guys out there uh, thank you for watching my videos and uh, thank you for subscribing giving a thumbs up etc and I really 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 hope to see you at one of my next videos <laughs> bye bye